Hello. Somebody was asking me for a tutorial how to paint a texture on a face with a projection painting method. So, well, this is a tutorial. Let's start. I got a mesh uh, from a friend here, which is perfect for this tutorial. So, um, let's change to the texture paint tab, and as you can see, there's no texture on it and it's empty here. If you're not at the tool tab here, please change to the tool tab. Like so. Then add a base color texture. In this case you can put in whatever you want here. The resolution. For me, 4K is okay. Now As you can see, I already have a texture on in here in the texture slot slot here. But uh, as we start from scratch, it looks like this. So I downloaded the texture from the internet, which is this guy here because it's very high risk. It's like, uh, not very high risk, but it's okay for our purpose. I downloaded it and I'm gonna load it in here in the texture tab say new and open this image in this case this is my image here so there it is if you ch now change to the tool tab again you're gonna see it has loaded the image into the texture slot here this guy here and for projection painting now it is for projection painting now it is very important to change this to stencil and you can see now the image is appearing slightly transparent and if you and if you um, press the right mouse button you can move the uh, stencil texture and if you press shift and the right mouse button you can scale it and control right mouse button is to, to rotate this alright now what I want to do is before I paint I'm gonna switch on the wireframe mode because I can see the shape here on here that's very important for me Let's start paint. Make this. Just fit this, this in. Rotate this a little bit. So, at first I want to fit the ear and start painting now. Just roughly paint over. So, now I'm fitting the eye. Turn it a little bit. Paint it roughly. Fitting the mouth. Like so. And fitting the nose. Like so. Well, let's see. And that's actually that's actually it. You keep going, fit in the texture on the mesh here, and keep going painting. because this is just the base texture oops I paint over the mouth let's do it again here this, uh, again this uh, this is just a base texture because I wanna paint this in layers so I'm, um, for further steps I'm I'm uh, I will uh, create extra layers for this and paint this over 
just to fix all the issues in the in the uh, facial texture here. Well, I think it's okay. <laughs> Pretty much. But yes, some um, we got some uh, strange issues with the nose here. Yeah. That's okay. Well, funny <laughs> well we got to fix this in later steps so this is basically this is basically is the texture, the base texture. So um, you can go ahead and fill out the uh, neck here and fix everything you need to fix. The more you, the uh, the better you fix this, and the better um, foundation you have for um, further steps. So and what is uh, what's very important here is um, when you paint this texture, you need to save the image, uh, which doesn't appear here. To actually, um, you get a little star here, which say which t which tells you that you have there's no image saved yet, but there's nothing. So we change back to shading tab first, and as you can see, there's a colored um, note plugged in already. This is the texture what we painted on. And then we, if we change back to texture paint and it loads the texture in. So you can see what you painted here on the uh, unwrapped image. And now you can see this little star here. It tells you this that this image is not saved. So we're going to go ahead and save this first. Base color 2. Let's keep the name like this. Save the image. And you can see now it's saved. Very important to save this before you close Blender because if you close the blend, Blender file and you're sh you save just the Blender file and you didn't save the texture it's gonna be gone <laughs> that happened to me at the beginning uh, uh, very often so. well let's go back to the shading tab and have another environment lighting as you can see now this is very the light here is very flat so what I'm gonna do for the first steps just to see if it's a cor it's um, if it's uh, correct take this put this in a subsurface color then you have a little bit subsurface getting oh um yeah I I changed the subsurface already in this case. So, and um, put this into into the bump map, into the normal slot. Take, the, take this. We're going to use the, this color map as a bump map. So you put this, better put this on non-color data. Non -color data and use the bump to normal node for this and as you can see it's very very bumpy so we're gonna pull this down as you can see the subsurface is too much so we can dial it back a little bit like so as you can, well yeah, that's already good. 
You can change the roughness to see the bump map a little bit more. But uh, it was actually pretty good already. Well, so what I'm going to do for further steps, create an additional layer. I create additional layers. Um, going back to the texture paint slot, uh, yeah, uh, tab, and um, and create a new texture here. Create a new. We want to paint a new base color texture with alpha, this time with alpha, like so, say OK, there's a new color texture. So we go back to the shading tab, and uh, as you can see there's a new new color node for this, and I want to mix this now, I want to paint over without destructing the base color node, base texture. So what I'm going to do for this is um, create a mix RGB, like so, and create another mix RGB, like so, and put the color into the second color slot, and put the alpha of this into this color slot and put this into the fact slot of the second mix node. So with this we can modify the we can blend in the uh, texture, the second base te the second color texture we can blend in over the base texture. Like if we do this like this so uh, but change this to black because it, as the alpha black is trans transparent if we blend in, it's going to be totally gone. If we blend, uh, if we blend out, it's going to be totally gone. If we blend in, uh, this texture will be seen. So um, now, with this second base texture selected, go back to texture paint. There we have the new texture already, and there it isn't. It, here it says it isn't saved, so we save this first. Just keep it like this. I don't need to keep keep the name like this. I don't need to s change the name. So saved already. And be careful which slot, which uh, on which color you're painting on. You can change this like here. Boom, 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 like this. And okay, what you're gonna do in here now is um, we don't use this uh, texture slot. Uh, text texture in the slot. We do need uh, the picture mask. I'm not gonna load in uh, some brush maps for. We're gonna, we're gonna use this uh, empty slot here and just paint over a little bit, like let's say. I don't see anything. Uh, what I'm doing? I'm on the right slot. Yeah, I'm on. Base color three. That is, yeah. Shading. how you paint over and if you messed up your painting on this layer you can go up to this mix this blend mode here and say erase alpha so you can erase this again if you put a brush in the texture mask yeah you can imagine it would be better than this um, So that's how I paint.
Bo 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 bo. In the other videos in my channel, YouTube channel, you can see how I make it uh, properly with real brush textures and so go ahead, go ahead and uh, t have a look. Just wonder why the multiply doesn't work. Oh, oh, it works actually. Oh uh, yeah, because it's transparent. Sure. <laughs> All right, that's actually it. Now, if you want to see, I can blend it in and blend it out. This is how I'm going to manage the layer painting system. All right. Done. Bye-bye.